to Walt. The goal line, Armour, touchdown BC, his second of the ball game. Boy, and just a great catch, using his body to screen the defender out of the way. Ed Armour may be earning that job as the other wide receiver. He's been outstanding tonight. Just that the, the first couple of catches he made of the ball game over his shoulder, a couple other key catches. This was a fine reception here. He's both clubs are moving the ball, the difference being the Lions are getting touchdowns, the Eskimos having to settle for field goals. The last two possessions for the BC Lions, as Dale mentioned, 109 yards to end the first half. This one, 75 yards, both resulting in major scores. And converted by Pythaglia and the BC Lions with 6.53 remaining here in the third quarter, lead the Eskimos 24 to nine. We're coming right back. The 75 yarder capped off 25 yard play from the wall to armor, his second touchdown reception of the night. Another look at it, making the catch right at the goal line. In his last 12 attempts, DeWalt's been good on 10 of 12, 111 yards, two touchdowns, both of them to Armour. Wilson Jones finally picks it up and brings the kickoff return out to near the 30-yard line. 14-yard return. As we were talking about just a few minutes ago, I think this is where the defensive superiority of the Lions has shown. In other words, They've given up a couple of field goals, but not the touchdown. For about 40 minutes out here, Edmonton has not been able to score the touchdown, and that's the difference because they've been really tough on defense when it has to be, and that's the Lions' defense. I really like those guys. Donnie Taylor of the Lions shaken up. He was in on that tackle and the kick. Now to the sideline. First down, Eskimos from the 29-yard line. Working into the open, Chris Woods, and he's got big speed at the goal. That's it. He, I think, is gone. Woo! 81 yards. That's what speed will do for you. <laughs> An innocent-looking pass out in the flat is six points. <laughs> this guy with the stick to run up the counter. He's getting gas. Just talking about the BC defense, if they ease up just a little bit, don't have that speed to cover somebody like that. Look at that play. Bird once again slipped on the play. Jocko, yep. you made the point two or three times that people have been slipping out on this turf, and that cost the BC Lions six points. Sometimes those guys don't change their cleats when they get on a on a turf, you know, on a on a grass turf. They just go with a little three eighths inch cleat and they're in trouble. Going for two. Donegan's going to try and take it in himself, and he made it! Oh, what a hill! He just dragged Rick Klassen with him into the end zone. 